What up, everybody? If you are on Facebook watching right now, please type your name in the chat. Um, Instagram, you already know. I already can tell who's on here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here right quick. Uh, in game mentality. What's up? Appreciate you getting on. On my IG live. All right. So, man, we're going to get started in about 15 seconds. I appreciate y'all getting on. Hey, what up, Mac? Good to see you. Appreciate you getting on. Hope all is well. We're going to get started 10 seconds. Today is a, uh, probably won't go as long for this episode, Attack of Thursday with JK. Um, it is wifey birthday today, so she did allow me. What up, Sue? She did allow me to be able to get on briefly, so I'm going to get on, get out. And go celebrate uh, my wife's birthday. All right. So, uh, y'all wish her a happy birthday, man, under my, my picture. Uh, y'all tired. Go follow her. Uh, Brittany K. Moments, man. So, she's doing her thing, though. Um, but with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get started, man. What up, everybody? It's your boy, JK. Today is Thursday. See, you already know what it is. It's Taco Thursday with JK Live. All right. So, today, I'm tackling. We're tackling the topic, right? Do you have an in-game mentality? Do you have an in-game mentality, right? That's the question that we're going to tackle today, right? And so what I mean by that, and you know, if you've been watching Taco Thursday, um, following me faithfully, I try to give a, a, a backstory to how I come to the title, right? Or come to the topic that we're going to tackle. So about a month ago, I was watching Avengers Endgame, right? Uh, with, with, with my family. And so... I'm, as I'm watching, as I'm watching the movie, I, I, I realized that that in the Avengers, like in game, that there was a difference um, in in mentality and mannerisms um, and personalities in, in a few of the, the, the Avengers. Right. And so I don't know if you've seen the 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 the. Uh, my flyer, right? Shout out to wifey. She made a dope flyer, right? That you seen the Hulk was on there. Iron Man was on there. And, and the other character is, uh, is Thor, right? And so if we had, if you were asked like to describe those three characters, right? One, if I say, hey man, describe the Hulk. You would say, man, the Hulk, he's this gentle giant. Like he's smashing cars. He throwing people everywhere, but he's also, he got this nice side, like this gentleness to him as well, right? And, and 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 so then if with you go to describe Thor, you like, hey, look, man, Thor shredded. That boy ripped. He's strong. He got his hammer. He ready to fight anywhere, anytime, right? He he got a warrior mentality. Then if we go to Iron Man, he'd be like, man, Iron Man fearless. Like Iron Man, even with his own, you know, health issues or whatever the case, like, hey, he he fearless. Like he going, he he's not backing down from anyone or anybody, right? And so you would describe them in this manner, right? But but in the movie in game they had three different personalities they had they had different personalities than what i was used to right and and as i'm watching this movie i'm like whoa i was like man i can i see a difference in these characters but i can probably explain why right because think about it they had just lost the thanos right they lost the thanos so all of them we're taking the L hard. If you look at Iron Man, Iron Man lost people, right? Not only losing the Thanos, but lost, you know what I'm saying, people that, that meant a lot to him. So, 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 so he was hurting. Then you look at like the Hulk. The Hulk took an L in uh, uh Infinity Stones. That one, it was like basically Thanos not the fight out of the Hulk. So the Hulk was this, this so nice kind of, you know, nerdy Hulk. Something that we wasn't used to. Yeah, he was gentle, but he still had a little mean streak. This Hulk in the end game was totally different. That Thanos had knocked the fight out of the Hulk, right? Then you look at Thor. Thor is this, this health freak. Like, he's, he's shredded. He got muscles. But in this movie, the end game, Thor was overweight. Thor was unhealthy. Thor was, was, wasn't. He had some muscles, but he didn't have the muscle definition that we were used to, right? And I started to look. I was like, man. 
Like those are three different mentalities, three different stages or states that us as humans, after we take a loss, whatever the loss is, whether we're like Iron Man and you suffer a loss, you know, loss of things uh, or people or, or whether you're like the Hulk and you get into a fight um, or you get you you lose an opportunity or you're in a game, a sporting event and, and you perform bad and somebody beats you. You know, you, you can get the fight knocked out of you. Right. Or uh, uh, if we're like Thor, Thor, Thor was emotionally eating. Thor was trying to eat the pain that was caused by the loss to Thanos, he was trying to eat his pain away. So you got Thor emotionally eaten. You got the Hulk had his had the fight knocked out of him, right? And then you had Iron Man that 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 was suffering from fear of failure or 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 or, or the fear of loss, right? And so the question is, when I say, hey, do you have an in-game mentality? I'm asking, hey. When you go through adversity, when you go through trials or tribulations, what is your mentality? And the question is, do you have an in-game mentality? Do you find yourself, when you go through adversity, when you suffer loss, when you go through the trials and tribulations, do you find yourself becoming like one of those characters? The hook to where you lose the fight for something? Or you do you become like uh, uh, Thor where you emotionally eat? Right. You're trying to eat the pain away. Or do you become like do you become like Iron Man who who he didn't want to try anymore because he was like, man, if I try, there's a chance I might lose. If I try, there's a chance I can lose other people I can, or I can lose other things. So I'd rather just play it safe. Right. And so I'm not here saying that they didn't have a right to respond that way. Yes. Like if you know what I'm saying. Iron Man lost people that meant something to him that he loved. So obviously it's natural to go through a, uh, a grieving stage or to go through this emotional point. Right. You got to tap into your emotions. Uh, um, yes. I'm not saying that the Hulk couldn't have emotionally. You know what I'm saying? You know, we go through a spurs. We're like, man, I'm about to eat some ice cream, man. Oh, man. Dang. Like, oh, or, or we say, man, you know, things ain't going good. Let me just go. I, maybe I go buy my favorite meal, even though it's unhealthy. I'm gonna go buy my favorite meal to kind of, you know, cheer me up. Right. So I'm not saying that Hulk didn't have the right to emotionally eat after taking the L to Thanos. Right. Or or if we look at the Hulk. Hey, after you take a, a bad loss, sometimes you do got to lick your wounds. Sometimes it does take some time to bounce back. So so every emotion that Thor, that 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 the Hulk and that Iron Man was feeling is an emotion that's natural. It's things that 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 we do as humans naturally after taking an L or after going through some adversity. But 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 what we have to think look at when it comes to the Avengers, that movie Endgame, the Endgame movie took place 5 years later. So it wasn't a week after losing to Thanos. It wasn't a month after losing to Thanos. It was it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't 6 months. It wasn't even a year. It was five years later after losing to Thanos and Thor was still emotionally eating. You know what I'm saying? He still was trying to eat that pain away that was caused by his L, by the L to Thanos. Five years later, you had the Hulk that took an L to Thanos, got beat in a fight. And five years later, the Hulk still didn't have any fight. He still didn't want to get back up and go beat the Hulk again. He still didn't have any fight five years later. And then we look at we look at uh, Iron Man. Right. Five years later, Iron Man was still he still had a fear of failure. He still had a fear of loss. He still five years later. Th uh, uh, five years later, Iron Man still didn't want to go out and try because he was scared to fail. And so I'm asking you. Do you have an in game mentality? Do you find yourself doing these things? Has it has time expired on your emotional eating? Has time expired where you have let your fight go? That it's time to get your fight back. Has time expired to where, hey man, I, it's been long enough where I have lived with the fear of failure or the fear of loss, that, that I got to get up and start taking risk again. Has that time expired? 
Many of us, right? Like I said, it's not an issue that we experience those emotions after suffering loss or go through adversity. We all may emotionally eat. We all may lose the fight for a dream because we suffered some setbacks. We all uh, may may struggle with fear of failure or or, or, or or we might not take any more risk for a while because we suffered a loss in our business. We suffered a loss. Uh, or we lost a relationship. So you're like, man, you know what? I'm done with dating. Right. Yeah. You might go through that period um, of, of healing or, or go through that emotional state or that time period. But there comes a time and a place where we have to get back up and be who God has ultimately called us to be. Right. If you look at the movie. After five years. Where Thor was still emotionally eaten after five years, you had the Hulk who lost his fight. He didn't even want to try. And after five years, Iron Man was scared to even take risks because he was he had a fear of failing. Right. Even after five years, it eventually came to a point where they said, you know what? We got to get back up and be who, who we were created to be. Right. And as you watch the movie Endgame, you realize like the Hulk got some fight back in him. Right. He started to be the Hulk again. If you look at Iron Man, Iron Man finally was convinced to to take risk again, even if it meant losing. See, sometimes like we don't win because we're scared to even try because we know that there's a chance that we may lose. Well, we're never going to win if we don't try. And I'm, I'm, I'm someone that, that has struggled and dealt with fear of failure and, and, and not trying because, hey, I don't want to lose. But 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 it comes a time and a point where we got to say, like, look, man, like I'm never going to win if I don't try. I'm never going to make a shot if I don't shoot. Right. So like what, what Jordan says, he missed every shot he don't take. Every job you don't apply for, you didn't get. Every job you don't apply for, they're going to tell you no. Every every business opportunity where you don't ask for what you want, that offer, you know what you're worth. But sometimes we don't want to ask for what we're worth because we don't want to offend the other person. Every time you do that, there's, there, there's the opportunity gone. Every time you're scared to take a risk, right? You lose out on the opportunity. What's the worst thing somebody could say? No. But if you never ask, they already say no. But if you ask, now you got a chance of them saying yes, right? So, so, so when I'm saying, do you have a in-game mentality? I'm asking, right? Are you currently sitting in a state? Or when you go through adversity, do you find yourself emotionally eating like, like Thor did after taking an L? Do you find yourself losing the fight for a dream or losing the fight for your business because your first business crumbled or, or 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 maybe people not watching your videos like you wanted to so you lose the fight or 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 maybe your your relationship goes through some ups and downs and you lose the fight for for fighting for that relationship right or or or, or are you like or are you like iron man who five years later is scared to take risks because he doesn't want to fail. And if you are that person, because we, to be honest, we've all been that person. And the thing is, those emotions and feelings are natural. But those feelings can't be, we can't let those feelings become a lifestyle. See, see, it's okay to, 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 I think, I believe that, yeah, man, you're going through some adversity, you may emotionally eat here or there. But you can't live a lifestyle of emotionally emotionally eating. Yeah, after you take a take a loss uh, in a game, or after you take a loss in a business, or after you take a loss in a re relationship, yeah, it may it may it may take some time for you to, to 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 get back up. But you can't live a lifestyle of 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 not having fight and not fighting for things. You can't you can't live a lifestyle of living in a fear of failure or having a fear of failure, right? That can't be a lifestyle. That may be an emotional state that you may be in. There may be some weeks you may be going through that, but it cannot become a lifestyle that five years after suffering a disappointment, you still are living in those effects. Because when we when we allow something that happened in the past to, to, to control us like that, it limits who we can become. It limits what 
we can become and what we can do. And it ultimately limits us from being and becoming who God has called us to be. Right. So 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 we got to stay away from that in game mentality. Yes, we experience those emotions. Right. That 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 those characters experience in the end game. We experience those emotions, but we can't live in those emotions. That can't be our everyday state. All right. So it's OK to go through those emotions, be in touch with your emotions. Right. But it's not OK for us to live in a lifestyle of emotional eating. It's not OK for us to live in a lifestyle to where we we, we lack fight for dreams. We like we lack fight for relations, meaningful relationships. We like we lack fight for going to be who God has called us to be. All right. So, man, um, with that being said, man, I definitely want to uh, open it up. I don't know if anybody. Uh, got any questions? Want to give it about you know two minutes to anyone that may want to uh, ask any questions, uh, comments on um, what I'm talking about right now. Um, do you have an in game mentality? Do you have an in game mentality? And when I'm referring to that in game mentality, I'm talking about you know the characters uh, in the Avengers in game movie, um, Iron Man, Thor, and 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 the Hulk. After they suffered the L, the Thanos, all of them went through a different uh, uh, emotional state um, and, 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 and different mentality. Um, like I said, Thor uh, started emotionally eating. Hulk, the Hulk lost his fight. He lost his fight, right? We got to have fight. That's what that's what gets us up in the morning a lot of times, right? That's, that, that, that's what keeps us from quitting when things get hard. That fight, the Hulk lost his fight because he, he took an L. To Thanos, right? And then you look at Iron Man, he 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 lost his 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 uh courage. He lost his courage to want to take risks, to want to 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 go after things because he didn't want to lose. He had a fear of failure, right? And so, yes, it's natural to go through those emotions, but it was five years later, and those characters were still living in that state, right? Which is unhealthy for us as human beings. So um we want to stay away from living in that in game mentality, but we do experience those states of emotions or those emotional states. All right. So um, definitely want to just, you know, like I say, anybody got any questions, comments, want to open it up for about 30 more seconds. And then if not, I'll go ahead and close it out and be able to go celebrate the rest of uh, my wife's birthday. All right. Just checking, checking. All right, so I'll go ahead and, and, and wrap it up, man. Um, once again, man, this is another episode of Taco Thursday with JK live on IG, live on Facebook. I appreciate y'all that got on. Um, I appreciate y'all support, man. Y'all also could show support, man. Going to my YouTube page, Jeremy Kellum Win We Impact Now, all in one. Um, so if you type in Jeremy Kellum, or you type in We Impact Now Win, um, you will. Uh, what up, big sis? Appreciate you getting on. You can go follow me on YouTube. Um, I definitely take my Taco Thursdays and put them on YouTube. Um, so if, if if you miss a live or whatnot, you can just plug in your phone as you're driving to work one day and, and go to my YouTube page and listen to the different Taco Thursdays that I have done. Um, and once again, we here every Thursday. Every Thursday, we here Taco Thursday live tackling different topics. All right. So um, once again, remember, we got to... Avoid living in living with an in game mentality, and that that means like we 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 cannot live a lifestyle of emotional eating. We cannot live. We should not live a lifestyle of emotional eating. We should not live a lifestyle where we lack the fight, the fight. We lack the drive to continue to pursue our goals and dreams. We, 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 we have to make sure we're not living in that lifestyle. And we have to make sure we're not living in the lifestyle of uh, uh, where we lack courage, to where we don't even take risks, to where we don't even try because we're scared that the results will be that we will lose. It's only two options. You get the opportunity or you don't get the opportunity. You win or you lose. And that's okay. Right? Because lo losing isn't, 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 isn't the uh it's not finality, right? It's not final. Right? So, so so just because you lose doesn't mean that you can't try again. That's what we gotta understand. All right. So with that being said, man, if nobody else have any questions or comments, um, man, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off and like I say, man, enjoy. Uh, the rest of my wife's birthday, all right? So, man, appreciate y'all getting on. Y'all continue to wake up, right? Make sure y'all striving to win on purpose. Be intentional about winning. 
And y'all have a blessed night, all right? I'll see y'all next Thursday.